taking threes. So I guess I was just looking for the open opportunity, and they weren't really guarding me on the three-point line. Well, uh, comparing this team to UT Martin, it seemed like they played you all a little tougher defensively, but it looks like you all put a good defensive effort on them as well. Yeah, they, they're really good at slowing the game down, especially on fast-paced teams like us, so that we have to kind of play to their speed, which is why I think the game was so low scoring. But um, I still think we did a really good job. Um, our defensive efforts get better every single day. We work really hard in practice. And, you know, this is all getting us prepared for some big games. So. You guys obviously played games back-to-back -back nights. How Did that have any sort of impact on you guys from a physicality or an exhaustion standpoint? I mean, yeah. I feel like the, it's like no and yes. I mean, we're still out here playing well and where our bodies are ready because of how well we take care of them and how good of trainers we have. But yes, of course. I've never, this is my first time in my life before AAU basketball. I've played two college games in a row. So it was a lot. You kind of seem to be getting into a groove with your teammates here and all this team. Just talk about the, the transition from Syracuse to Louisville and some of the changes that you've gone through and improved on. Yeah, definitely the man. Um, you know, I played zone for three years, and it was a very specific, difficult zone that we worked on, I worked on for literally three years. So transforming my game to this, you know, man defense where I can't get beat at all, like, you know, and sometimes the help isn't always there, which we're working on, but um, that was kind of difficult. And the offense is a little different too, but it's not too far off, you know. The goal is to score. But just the, the man has been... I needed a couple months, but it's getting better. So the first game against So the first game against Arizona, you were one for seven. And then these last two games you've shot the lights out. Do you are you starting to feel a lot more comfortable in the offensive flow in the third game of the season than you were in the first game? Yeah, I think I let um a couple misses in Arizona get to my head a little bit, which is what I'm trying to not do this year. And um, I tried to just brush it off as best as I can and use these games as a confidence booster. So that as we continue to play, especially when we get into the ACC, I can take shots and make shots. And if I miss shots, I miss shots. And I'll still shoot them even when I miss. So hopefully I stay consistent. This group of guards that you get the chance to play with just seem to have a knack of being able to get you the ball in the right place at the right time and really, really help you produ produce well. Just talk about how good they are with you. Yeah, I think that's actually why this year's team is going to be really special. We might need a, a couple games. And I'm not saying we're going to lose, but if a couple losses come through it, I really do think we'll make it to a Final Four. And it's because all of the guards that we have can score, but also know how to pass the basketball when someone has a better shot or a better opportunity. And that's going to make the difference between a national championship team, seriously. You know, you've been here several games. Have you developed a good Jeff Walls imitation yet? <laughs> As I always say, he gets paid to make jokes. He's a funny guy. I don't have an imitation, but that's my that's my joke of the day. I imagine you've been asked this, but um, you know, your early shooting, Kenyo you know, came out eight, like seven of your first eight. Um, you know, just talk about your your comfort zone. Yeah. Um, I think last game gave me a little bit of a confidence booster, but you know they were just they were leaving me open and they went in, so that definitely helped. Sometimes you just you know when you feel it, you feel it. Hopefully, I stay consistent. Did Did you feel like you had to do that to kind of you know give the team a jolt, or was that something you know personal for your you know for your own start? Um, I think a little bit of both, but to be able to you know knock down some shots definitely gives our our team the advantage in in games like this, just a quick, quick like um, lead. And once you get on that, you know, we probably know we're going to win the game. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to stay consistent. Good. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.